Hello everyone, it's Sue here, and welcome to my channel. So today we are continuing on with the alphabet of God's promises in Psalms. Um, so for all of you that just kind of hang in there with me week after week, I so much appreciate all of you. Um, I hope that you're all getting um, encouraged and inspired with this series. Um, all right, so what I'm working on right now is I want to do an actual two-page spread. And I really liked this card that I got from Citrus Twist years ago. It says, shine on beautiful soul. And the word soul is what called caught my eye on this particular three by four card. Um, so on the back there, I already had put some washi tape down and I cut that little pink tag down and I put that little cupcake on there and I was really liking it. And that's where I'm going to write my scripture. And here we go. And it is Psalm 6 verse 4 and I'll go ahead and read it to you now it says return O Lord rescue my soul save me because of your loving kindness and today we have two letters we're focusing on letter R and letter S and um, the two words that really jumped out at me was soul and loving kindness and soul actually um, also means life. So it, it reads, return, O Lord, rescue my soul or life, right? And loving kindness is really all about the tender, uh, the tenderness, the, the mercy, the favor of God, right? Um, save me because of your loving kindness, right? He is just, you know, loves us more that we, than we can even imagine, right? And what I did was um, I had to add more pages to this particular traveler's notebook. And um, so it went from just uh, no lines on the page to uh, the pages that uh, does have lines. And since it's a two page spread, I didn't want one side to be no lines and the other side have lines. So I went ahead and adhered the lined page on the left side on top of the non-unlined page. I hope that makes sense. And I decided to put on top of it three colors of the Gansai Tambi watercolors in the pearl. So they're pearlescent. They have a beautiful shimmer to them. And I love the way that this came out. I love how it looked very almost like blocked like blocks of color yet overlapping and I just thought it was so pretty all right so now it's the next day I just let that dry overnight and I pulled out two colors of archival ink and a really old uh, Heidi Swap stamp oh my gosh who else has this stamp but I have to say it's one of my favorite background stamps yeah I mean look at it. it's just it just adds such you know, it's, I don't know, there's so many different styles on that one stamp that it's really, you know, it's, it's, it's a great stamp. If you ever see it and you don't have it, definitely pick it up. It's great for backgrounds. So that's the blue archival ink and it's called Paradise Teal. Um, Brandy new. I just opened it um, this morning. And now I'm going to use the magenta hue. Same stamp set, but um some different uh, stamps in that set I'm, I'm using. And I'm just trying to get a nice background on here. Um, nothing, you can see here, it's, you know, nothing overpowering or anything, just a nice subtle background. But I did want it to cover really pretty much the whole, the whole two pages. And if my voice seems a little deeper than it normally is, it's because I'm trying not to have a sore throat. <laughs> Did you ever get like that? It's like, oh my gosh, I am no. It's like even my glands and my ears, and it's like, no, I refuse to be sick. <laughs> 
I refuse. So anyway, so if I sound different, that's why. Um, so now these stickers I got from uh, Lori from By the Well for God. And I am not big on alpha stickers. I, I never have been, even in my scrapbooking days, you know, everybody would put these wonderful titles on their pages. And I'm like, well, first of all, it's hard for me to think of a title. <laughs> and second of all, I don't know. It's just not my thing. But I figured, well, you know what? Uh, <clears throat> that pink sheet over to the right has the word kindness on it. And I figure, well, since I have the colors of these pages, let me do loving with the individual alphas and then <clears throat> excuse me I pulled the word kindness off of there loving kindness so I liked that because that was definitely like I said one of the words that jumped out at me right and I like that very much so now I pull out these Webster pages um, chipboard buttons and I had received them in a in a mystery box. They had a warehouse mystery box. Oh, I don't know. I guess last summer. And these came in it. And I figure, well, let me get some down here. Because I have a lot of real estate on these two pages, right? Um, you know, that three by four card I'm going to use as a tip-in. So I have these two pages to fill up. And I must say, at one point, I'm like, oh, gosh, these two pages, like, besides the background color, they just weren't looking unified like I really wanted them to look. But in the end, I love, love, love the way that, that they came out. So these, you know, little chipboard pieces, I had to put some adhesive on the back because um, they were definitely not sticky, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Um, and then along with those came, um, like this twine basically. And I figured, well, you know what? I haven't used the twine yet at all. So let me go ahead and get that onto the page. And I'm just, you know, stapling it on there. Um, just for another little, you know, effect, right? Just to use it up. And I'll cut off those edges, and I like that. So, as you can tell, they look very different, the two pages, as far as what I'm putting on top of them. And now I'm going to make the left page look even more different <laughs> than the right side. And um, so, I'm showing you here, you know, I'm, well, I'm actually trying to figure out where am I going to do the tip in. Right? Because you have to remember that this particular journal has the discs. So normally a tip-in goes very, very close to the spine of your journal. But um, I have to do it a little bit differently here because, well, there is no spine, right? Um, <clears throat> if you think about it that way. So I decided to go ahead and put it on, actually on the page on the left side. And uh, this particular tape, it's, um, it has the backing on it that you have to pull off and it's cloth. So it's not like a, a regular washi tape by any means. It's an actual cloth tape. And um, I use this, you can see on that card right there on the bottom and a little bit on the top of the card itself, I used this washi already. The reason I put it on the bottom of that card was because there was a different verse on there that I didn't want, so I covered it covered it up. So I'm liking that. I really, really, really like that. And again, it has the word soul on the front of that three by four card, you know, shine on beautiful soul. Um, and I figured, yeah, why the heck not? I've had that card. I mean, well, it's an old citrus twist card. I love citrus twist kits. Um, but I haven't, excuse me, I think my throat's getting worse, but I haven't, um, purchased them in, in a few years. So yeah, so I've had it for a while. Now I'm also trying to use up these little hearts, which, um, 
you'll see later I end up having to glue one of them because it pops off but um, so I now have finished using up all of the white ones and I have like four of those pinkish red ones I'll use on another page I decide to put a paper clip up here I got those a Tuesday morning um, and I, I like them. I think that they're super cute. Now I pull out um, a Felicity Jane sticker sheet and it's puffy stickers. So like that arrow, that colorful arrow over on the left, that is Illustrated Faith and it's also a puffy sticker, totally different set. So even though the puffy stickers are made by two different companies, I thought that they looked really nice together. So I decided to go ahead and use um, both different sets and I put that on the um, on the tip in and it says smile and now I'm looking for a place for this little heart and I added to this little cluster over here and now to try to pull the pages to uh, make them look more cohesive I'm taking um, another one of those blue hearts and putting it on the opposite page. And now it's really starting to pull together, but you'll see by the end um, what I do at the end, I think just really makes it. So let's see, what am I doing now? Just kind of looking, seeing what else I can use. And I want to use as much as I can, right? Uh, so it, this Felicity Jane uh, sticker sheet had these flowers, and I wanted to go ahead and get them used. Um, you know, I tried to add that one flower to another little grouping, but it just looked better down there with the other one. And then this um, sticker says sunshine. And I went ahead and put it up there. And to me, still at this time, I wasn't feeling totally like it was cohesive and that um, that they look like they were part of the same spread. So I'm still kind of struggling even at this point, although it was getting a little bit better. And that cute little camera I put on the bottom of that 3x4 card. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and I want to draw a flower on to this page, right? Um, right now there's, you know, a lot of space on there. So what do you fill it up with? Well, you fill it up with flowers. <laughs> Pink flowers. <laughs> That's what you fill it up with. <laughs> Is there anything else? <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Me and my pink flowers. I don't know. So the first pen that I used, um, it was okay, uh, but it wasn't dark enough. So I came in with this jelly roll pen and um and it was it was, you know, a deeper pink. And um yeah, and you'll see I, I go ahead and I put more detail to it just so that it would definitely um, pop off the page. And I do have to say, you know, I, I definitely enjoy drawing flowers, um, you know, and yeah, so I can just kind of like, I can just like sit there and just like draw flower after flower after flower. <laughs> I, I do really, really, really enjoy um that to me it's almost like i want to say it's like mindless drawing right um it's just something i really enjoy and is easy and um yeah so it's probably a lot of the reason why i do um enjoy enjoy drawing flowers so much so now i'm just um you know bolding certain areas of the flower i already did the stem and the leaves and now I'm just doing the larger petals of the flower and I am really liking that and there I hold it up for you to see 
and I was happy with that. So I'm going to take that same pen and very loosely start outlining. Um, very loosely. I, you can't tell on the camera, but I'm holding the pen itself very loose. I'm not holding the pen tight. So when I do the outlining, it's moving a lot, right? It's it's not steady or sturdy. And, um, and so I like the look of that. And over here, I'm writing from the scripture, save me because of your loving kindness. And I really, that's pretty much wraps up that page right there. And I'll lift it up for you to take a look at. And I was super, super, super happy with that. I thought it looked really, really, really nice. So now I'm going to work on um, this side of the page, the left side um, of the spread, I should say. And I am writing, Return, O Lord, Rescue My Soul. Um, and again, I'm just trying to fill up the empty space, right? Um, you know, not that any of it was truly empty because <laughs> it had the background, it had the stamping, but I did want to kind of cover it up, um, you know, with, with writing or flowers. So I'm writing Psalm 6 verse 4. I wrote letter R and uh, now I'm doing that very loose outlining again. And when I go around the words loving kindness, I do it really, really, really messily, which I liked very much. And I'm super happy with the two pages now, but I'm not done. <laughs> so, so I decide I need more flowers. Right, so I draw a tulip on this side, and um, I like the way that, that it came out. There was just more empty space on this page that I wanted to fill up, and more flowers, of course, pink flowers, of course. Um, so I like the way that that looked, and then I'm like, well, I have two spots up on top that don't have flowers. <laughs> So I drew just a few more flowers. I drew that one and then I just drew two little, little flowers over on this side without any stems. And I like that. Now the pages seemed full. They seemed cohesive and I was very, very happy with them. But you will notice that I wrote on the top of the page letter R when in reality it's really letters R and S. So after the video was done, um, I went ahead and I fixed it. So even in the photos at the very end of this video, it's still going to say letter R, but just know that I really did fix it. Um, and here you go. Here are the photos. That's the cute little tip in. And um, I really love the way that these pages turned out. Um, have a blessed week and please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Love you guys.